okay good morning welcome back in the last class we have discussed about the types of wireless LAN first one is ad hoc mode second one is infrastructure mode so in the ad hoc mode includes uh, wireless LAN cells interacting without connecting to wire networks and without connection to an access point no access point is needed and the devices might connect to the internet through wire or other wireless techniques and there is no fixed infrastructure and information is forwarded in peer-to-peer -peer mode. There is no administration, no setup and no cost. Each node can directly communicate with another node. Nodes can only communicate if they reach each other physically or if other nodes can forward the message. And this network uh, structure may operate in a standalone fashion. Each node is equipped with a wireless transmitter and receiver with appropriate antenna. Next, you can say the infrastructure mode. Uh, it includes one or several interconnected wireless LAN cells which are connected to a fixed net through access point. Wireless access points can be compared with an Ethernet hub or switch and is used to allow computers or other devices with wireless cards to participate in a network. All communication occurs through access points. Communication typically takes place only between the wireless node and the access point and not directly between the wireless node. Access point, uh, you can say, acts as a bridge. Access points with a fixed network can connect several wireless network to form a larger network beyond the actual uh, radio coverage. Design the simple because most of the network functionality lies within the access point and collision may occur if medium access of the wireless node and the access point is not coordinated. And uh, there are in this type of communication, there are two type of access points are there. One is your hardware access point, one is your software access points. So, in the hardware access point offer comprehensive support of most wireless features, but the requirements should be checked carefully. But software access point which run in a computer equipped with a wireless network interface card as used in an ad hoc or peer-to-peer -peer wireless network. So, next is the ad hoc mode. In ad hoc, networks are created between two or more wireless pieces together without the use of wireless router or an access point. The computers communicate directly with each other. Ad hoc networks can be very helpful during meeting or in any location where a network does not exist and where people need to share files. So generally in the ad hoc network is device having own capability to maintain that network. There is no infrastructure, intermediate devices is required are required to communicate with each other so in the ad hoc network basically uh, you can say in the ad hoc network there is no administration no setup and no cost each node can directly communicate with another like peer-to-peer -peer architecture and uh, Mm, nodes can only communicate if they e reach each other physically or if other nodes can forward the message. That is the ad hoc network. Next, known as the infrastructure mode. What do you mean the infrastructure mode? A network infrastructure is the hardware and software resource of an entire network that enable network connectivity communication, operation and management of an enterprise network. It provides the communication path and services between the users and process application services and external networks and the internet. That is the infrastructure includes one or several interconnected wireless LAN cell which are connected to a fixed net through access point. Wireless access points can be compared with an Ethernet hub or a switch and is used to allow computers or other devices with wireless cards to participate in a network. All communication occurs through access points. So in this infrastructure mode, 
several interconnect wireless LAN cells uh, which are connected to a fixed net through access point. Wireless access points can be compared with an Ethernet hub or switch and is used. Well. That means the intermediate devices are used to communicate in this type of infrastructure mode. So here the number of the systems and the intermediate devices is used to communicate with each other or you can say all the devices are connected through that uh, uh, intermediate devices and uh, next is your, this is the standard of IEEE 802.11 <laughs> is a part of the IEEE 802 set of local area network LAN protocols and specifies a set of media access control MAC and physical layer protocols for implementing wireless local area network, Wi-Fi computer, communication, various frequencies including uh, but not limited to 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, 6 GHz and 60 GHz frequency band. So the IEEE adopted the first standard of wireless LAN. As the standards number indicates, this standard belongs to the group of 802.x LAN standard. And this means that the standard specifies the physical and medium access layer adapted to the special requirements of wireless LAN, but offers the same interface as the others to higher layers to maintain interoperability. The primary goal of the standard was the specification of a uh, simple and uh, robust wireless LAN which offers time bounded and synchronous services. The IEEE 802 committee was formed to set up the, the standard of LAN uh, domain. There are many standards within this family with almost all letters from A to X. So these specifications defines an over-the-air interface between a wireless client and a base station or between two or more wireless clients. More popularly 802.11 is known as Wi-Fi. And but before we get too far into where 802.11 is going, uh, Let's uh, discuss about the different standards of 802.11. These are the standards. 802.11 applications to wireless LAN and provides 1 or 2 Mbps transmission in 2.4 GHz band using either frequency hopping spread or direct sequence spread spectrum uh, and FHSs. Next is your 802.11a and extension to 802.11 that applies to wireless LAN and provides up to 54 Mbps in the 5 GHz band. 802.11a use uh, an orthogonal frequency division multiplexing encoding scheme rather than FHS or DSS. Next uh, standard is your 802.11b also referred to as 802.11 high rate of Wi-Fi an extension of 802.11 that applies to wireless LAN and provides 11 Mbps transmission with a fallback to 5.5, 2 and 1 Mbps in the 2.4 GHz band 802.11b use only DSS 802.11b was in 1999 uh, ratification to the original 802.11 standard allowing wireless functionality comparable to Ethernet. Next is 802.11e, a wireless trap standard that defines the QS or quality of service support for LANs and is an enhancement to the 802.11a and 802.11b wireless LAN specification 802.11e adds QS features and multimedia support to the existing IEEE 802.11b and 80, IEEE 802.11a wireless standard while maintaining full backward compatibility with these standards. So these are the 
regarding the quality of the service and the next class we'll discuss in the another standards so for now thank you to all